Hi, you've clicked on to today's Tropical Tidbit for Monday, May 26th. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service, not me. Well, the big story today in the tropics is Hurricane Amanda, the first storm of the 2014 Eastern Pacific hurricane season, rapidly intensified to a Category 4 hurricane yesterday, becoming the second earliest forming major hurricane ever observed in the Eastern Pacific. Very impressive for their first storm. But she is rapidly beginning to decay today with ragged cloud tops showing up over her center now. The eye is gone as dry air gets sucked in from the west and south and drained into her core will cause her to rapidly diminish today and over the next few days will decay entirely over this area of the ocean. And although some residual rainfall can make it northeast towards the Mexican coastline with the mid-level structure, she is not a threat to land. But the reason I'm making a video today is because the Atlantic hurricane season begins in five days on June 1st. And right off the bat during the first week of June, we seem likely to see a wet pattern start developing in the Western Caribbean and eventually spreading up into the Eastern Gulf of Mexico and perhaps the Florida region. And the catalyst for this pattern is already evident. Uh, this upper low here coming out of the Rockies into the Great Plains may be what causes this. You can see it causing convection over Tornado Alley right now. But what's significant about this is that the jet stream is off to the north here and the pattern that I'm about to show you is causing this low to get cut off from the westerlies and eventually uh, uh, be provided an avenue southeastward towards the tropics because Amanda is dragging her upper ridge with her towards the north and west and the clockwise flow around this will allow this low to propagate southward and make it down towards the Yucatan Peninsula and once that happens things may start turning wet uh, to its east here. Now these are the Canadian ensembles. This is the initialization, 500 millibar height and anomalies. You can see the low that you saw spinning on satellite showing up here over the Rockies. Notice we have a giant anchoring Arctic low north of Alaska, and this has been keeping troughs near Siberia, uh, the Pacific Northwest and Western Canada, and off of the Canadian Maritimes and south of Greenland. And this pattern right now is rather stagnant, very slow to progress. So these troughs are not moving very much. So when we go out to day three, we see that our low is progressing southeastward and weakening, but it's only centered over Arkansas now, has not moved very far. This trough is still over the Pacific Northwest. This trough is still south of Greenland. So we're getting heights building to the north of our low. So it's getting stuck and even more cut off from the westerly flow. So it's not going to progress eastward like most troughs do. Instead, it's going to continue southward here and southeast towards the Yucatan Peninsula and the tropics. So by the time we get to day seven, we see the Canadian ensembles uh, showing the low, getting all the way down towards 20 north with negative height anomalies showing up uh, centered around the Yucatan Peninsula. Note that the ridge continues to build to the north, getting this stuck. And those of you who follow the tropics regularly know that this kind of pattern uh, generally promotes wet conditions to the east of the upper low that gets stuck in here because this flow counterclockwise around this low pressure area starts bringing moisture out of the deep tropics northward through the western caribbean and this ridge that you see over the eastern caribbean also helps bring flow out of the southwestern caribbean towards the north so we get this injection of tropical moisture invading northward and can eventually make it into the eastern gulf of mexico and florida region as well as the northwestern caribbean and if we look at the precipitation anomalies for week uh, for the first week of june we do see wet anomalies showing up from the northwestern Caribbean through the eastern Gulf of Mexico on the Canadian ensembles. And the GFS also shows the same pattern with its ensemble mean showing negative height anomalies centered over the Yucatan by day seven. And the week one of June precipitation anomaly also shows wet conditions uh, showing up in the northwestern Caribbean and spreading northward eventually towards the eastern Gulf of Mexico and Florida. So both major model systems showing the same pattern developing because of this upper low currently coming out into the plains, having um, an avenue to dive southeastward into the tropics. And this means that this area will likely become wet uh, right away as the month of June begins. Now, what does this mean for the tropics? Well, when you get a pattern like this, Sometimes you can get a tropical depression or a weak tropical storm to form because although we have a lot of shearing going on because of the upper low getting stuck, um, the convection that goes on here with uh, the pattern being stagnant can allow low pressure to consolidate and have storms form. A tropical storm Andrea last year, the first storm of last year's hurricane season, uh, was one of those kind of early season storms that's generally sheared, comes up out of the south, and uh, never strengthens very much but brings a lot of rain into this area here. 
Now it's too early uh, being a week or more away from this pattern manifesting to know whether a storm may or may not form. Uh, we will watch for one if the pattern does indeed turn wet here, but that is the only message right now is that this area of the world is likely to turn wet as tropical moisture starts to get going and we see convection going off for the first time really in the Atlantic this year um, as we start to get towards the summer months. So this will be something to watch as we enter the first week of the Atlantic hurricane season, uh, likely to see some tropical moisture invading this area of the world. And uh, if any formation becomes possible as we get closer to that time, you will hear about it here. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.